using YouTube, Rocky here again. Now we're at the DOS prompt for the new DOS machine. I'm going to type Windows and watch this. Three point one four work groups. Yes, we know there's an error with the sound card. Boot done, loaded. What modern OS does that? None of them. That's the answer. Yes, it's a blank installation of Windows three point one one. So we got a uh, Minesweeper. If I'm rubbish at. See, Solitaire, which I really quite like. It's not on it. Obviously we've got no sound because of the sound card issue that we'll get sorted. Got the file manager. Crazy, crazy. So that's Windows C.11. And then, blink! Back to DOS, right. Let's show you some games. So, I've installed a few games. Maybe typing one hand was not such a good idea. Games and we'll go. Uh, I'll show you. Oh. Oh. Wolfenstein 3D. <laughs> ah, yes. Don't know if you remember this. Base memory issues. Sort that out, we need to restart the machine, which I will do right now. What's that? The restart key on the machine. Now, the problem with me using my monitor for both my main PC. Oh, look, there's YouTube with XFL 2708, his latest video. All right, mate. Um, yeah, the problem with that is it switches between inputs. I have got an old monitor on the attic, but. Ah, I'll bring me, bring me, ding it down. We'll see how much is the machine. So, oh dear, I turned the monitor off. <laughs> so you go, just goes to show you these are unscripted videos. Philips monitor, 23 inch, 22 inch or 21 inch widescreen. So you select the input, VGA, yep. And the machine will be running a memory test. Oh, it's past the memory test stage now. The hard drive, CD ROM drive. We're booting up to DOS now. It's kind of hard getting it on the one screen, but I'll try. I mean, you're not really missing very much after this side. It's because of the white screen one. I'll bring it back a bit, but. Right, here we are. DOS, ready to go. Quick boot. So, first thing is, because my typing is terrible, DOS key. But that's a bad idea. Use the base memory. Strange. I was working fine earlier on. Let's try another one. I just messed around with the base memory settings, it doesn't take too long. I know one game that was definitely working earlier. Doom! We all know what Doom is, I don't need to explain it. Obviously, uh, no sound right now, but this is the original Shaber version, if anybody's asking. So will start. Yeah, yeah. Can't be plenty. I'm not that good at this game. Runs perfectly well. Classic Doom. Looks great. It'll sound better once I get the sound card in it. I should have it next week. Which is not bad because my friends might have to me for nothing. So. Yay. Doom. Yeah, we also want Doom looks like. Let's go back in time a bit. The good thing about this spec I've chosen or built is I can run later stuff as well. So let's have a look. For example. Classic game. This is really early DOS stuff. Paratrooper. Sounds of an internal speaker. First play this money. 286. It's premise is simple. Shoot the guys down. I 
enough parachutes come down you'd probably only die. This is controlled using the keyboard. There is a joystick interface on the back and I have got some old joysticks that I might fire up for Doom and stuff but without the sound card it's a bit... Oh! That was a bit unfair. Three of them at once. Paratrooper! Love that game. Love that game. Fortunately, only way to restart it is control alt delete. Restart the machine. Which means back to my matrix screensaver on Ubuntu. Select the input source. Now I'll try something topical in a minute. And before I load it, I will just point out in case there are any focus licensing people watching. I do actually own the boxed version of Monkey Island and I have not downloaded the dodgy copy. So we can save from the knowledge that I'm not ripping off a game. Obviously it's quite topical at the moment with Monkey Island 2 just coming out on Xbox Live for the remake edition which I've just got. Okay, I'm even running Monkey Island in VG mode with the internal speakers of the sound. And we have to use the quiet code wheel. Which is always fun because the people look nothing like the pirates. Ginger, ginger. But as I said, the problem with the code wheel is sometimes the people do not like, like the pictures. I mean, the bottom I know that's Elaine Marley, so... Oh dear. Stupid code wheel, stupid code wheel, stupid code wheel, I hate this thing. Probably easier to download a cracked version and play this game. Barbados. Finally! Monkey Island. Game. Unfortunately, we're missing the great sound. It's an internal speaker. So here's Mr. Freakwood. Hello. My mouse support does work. Now if you can hear that, but that's a poor excuse for sound. So mouse support works perfectly well. Got the full start. Classic game. I'm gonna go off and play this for you, well. Catch you later. Bye bye.